Hey guys, it's Claire, and I just wanted to do a little video about a couple of products that I've been trying lately, um, whether they're sample that I got through like a subscription service like Birchbox or um, Sample Society or Glossy Box, or a sample that I got through my Vox Box or a sample through the mail, or something that I got um, through Sephora when I made an online purchase. So the first product I'm going to show you is something that I have in my hair right now. My hair is still a little damp. It's the Weedod Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner, and Weedod is known to be a curl expert. And basically, after I washed my hair today, I just towel dried it, and then you run some of this um, leave-in conditioner in your hair, and it smells so good, and it's just like a light, it's not weighing my hair down. Like, I have really fine hair, but it's also damaged because I color it, and this is just a really, really good way to keep my hair healthy in between washing. So I really, really enjoyed this product, so I can toss that packaging out now. Um, Purex, um, I signed up and they sent me one of their Ultra Packs to try, and this was so easy, guys. I just tossed this in um, before I put my laundry in, in the washing machine, and it's just like, okay, I'm done. I need to start the water. Um, so it's that easy for these Ultra Packs. I'm going to have to definitely purchase this, and it came with a coupon, too, when I tried it. So. I'm going to have to be purchasing this. It's just it's too easy, and it's easier than carrying a jug of detergent around. So, try these. Um, also, I got in my uh, birch box the Curacao Blue Stila Eyeliner. I've been trying Stila Eyeliners ever since then. I really, really like these Stila Eyeliners. They're gorgeous. You can layer them to make them thicker, like make them less transparent when they go on. This, that blue color was really pretty. I really love Stila eyeliners. The next thing was um, the face wash that came with my Clarisonic. It is the Refreshing Gel Cleanser from Clarisonic. This stuff didn't irritate my skin. It took all my makeup off. It didn't clog up my Clarisonic brush. This was a really great cleanser to use if you are using a Clarisonic brush. This next product came in my Influencer Vox box, and it was the Aveeno Daily Nourishing Cleanser. Um, it was the body wash, and I really liked the way this smelled. It wasn't like fruity. It was more of like a soft, almondy smell, I guess. Um, and I haven't repurchased this yet. I know I've been saying that I would, but then in a couple of my other monthly subscription boxes, I got some body washes. And also, I went to Victoria's Secret and I bought some body washes. But um, this one's definitely a good one. It's one of my favorites. Um, I tried this from Sephora. It's the Shiseido Bio Performance um, Serum. And this is uh, supposed to be a super corrective serum. I really liked this underneath my moisturizer. It felt like when I put it on that it was a primer. And it, it's a dimethicone based product. And dimethicone is kind of like that powdery feeling that you get when you put on a primer. Um, so I almost felt like the reason that it worked, it's supposed to be anti-aging. I feel like the reason it worked so well is because it had such a high dimethicone content in it. So it fills in any like fine lines and wrinkles. Um, but this is definitely one to try. I would definitely uh, try the Shiseido Bio Performance. I really enjoyed it as a serum. I loved this Marvis Italian Whitening Mint Toothpaste. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost done with it. I was going to save it to travel with, but I just couldn't help myself, and I was running out of toothpaste. But I really feel like it lightened, like, whitened my teeth. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I, I The mint flavor was good. It's a paste, which I like, not a gel. And um, I just really enjoyed this toothpaste. This is the Marvis Toothpaste. The next product I also got from my um, Glossy Box in June, and this was the Fido Hoba Hair Mask. You can use this as a conditioner or leave it on longer for more of a mask effect. This stuff smells pretty good. It's not like the best smelling thing in the world, but it's really, really moisturizing to your hair, and I've been using this in the shower. I would recommend this for anyone who has dry hair, because the Fido Hoba line is for people with dry hair. And last but certainly not least, is the Burberry Beauty lipstick that I received. I've been carrying this thing around with me everywhere. It's like down to the nub, you guys. Uh, I'm going to have to get another one. 
Um, but yeah, this is what I have on my lips now. It's a very glossy lipstick. Very sheer, not too heavy. Moisturizes so much. And the packaging is adorable. It's small, but it's like, it's got the Burberry patterning on it. It's amazing. And this was my first product introducing me to Burberry Beauty, and it makes me want to check out their other lipstick colors. This one was in copper number 202, so I definitely want to try other ones too. So these are a couple products that I've tried lately that I really did like and I enjoyed, and I hope that you go out and try them and enjoy them as well. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye!